Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about duty cycle measurements and um, how important is duty cycle uh, in um, when diagnosing uh, today's uh, uh, electronic uh, autom automotive electronic systems? Okay, so we're going to go. This is the uh, our uh, oscilloscope screen. Uh, this is an actual working oscilloscope. Okay, uh, for those of you that haven't seen our previous videos, now we're going to go over here. Okay, into the signal generator. Okay, and we're going to we're going to start off. The signal generation. Now this is a 440, and this is uh, down here, a 440 hertz uh, signal. Okay. We're also going to go into square wave because square wave, it's uh, meant, and as you can, you may be able to hear the uh, uh, the humming uh, that 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 this signal is making. Okay. And so. This is what it looks like. I'm going to turn off channel 2 here. Okay. Now. This is what the signal looks like. Okay. Now, I want you to pay attention to the duty cycle. Uh, we're going to explain that right now. Now, we're going to expand the, the timing, the time base, so that you can actually see it. Uh, before we continue on, uh, we are going to show you this right here okay this is the trigger okay this video is not about triggering but this is when you go off trigger like that then the signal is going to wobble everywhere so pretty much it's it's kind of hard it, it, it's it's right now it's not doing it because it's triggering pre pretty much fine uh, nicely you know okay give me one second okay here you go We're going to increase the frequency a little bit. Now this is what the signal looks like when it's not triggered properly. Okay? In order for it to trigger, would you need to bring down the trigger point, which is found in every single oscilloscope on the market today. Okay? As soon as we do that, see? It actually uh, centers uh, or synchronizes the signal. That way you can see it. Otherwise, you're going to see this, okay? So this is a trigger. Now, important, it's very important that you understand that. Okay, now, we're going to expand it a little bit. Now, the trigger expands together with, with, the, uh, with the amplitude. Um, um, so usually anywhere in the signal is okay, all right? Usually I leave it halfway there, all right? This is the zero line in there, as you can see, all right? Now, what is 50% duty cycle? Uh, let's tone down a little bit the uh, the volume here so that this is kind of annoying. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, now, this signal is a 50% duty cycle. It's right here, okay? What does this mean? And this is very important be because this is how... Uh, this is how the components are controlled nowadays, okay? Uh, by duty cycle. Every single component in a car is controlled by duty cycle, okay? So you could have, for example, your fuel pump. Fuel pumps uh, these days are variable speed. And how are, the, how are they varied? By duty cycle, okay? I'm going to tone down the frequency a little more, which is kind of annoying. Okay, here you go. Okay, so that's... So this is 50%. Why is it 50%? Okay. Well, because it's 50% on the negative side over here and 50% on the positive side over here. Okay. So it's a 50% duty cycle. That's what it means. Okay. Now we're going to change the duty cycle uh, and we're going to change it to like 10%. Okay. So we're going to go 10%. We're going to go over here. We're going to go 10%. Okay. Here we go. Actually, what we're going to do here is we're going to signal generator in a separate window. So we're going to do that. Okay. 
that way we're going to see both at the same time. We're going to go to the scope, okay? And we're going to go and show you the same window here at the same time as the generator, okay? That way I could explain uh, this concept a little better, okay? Let me see if we could do it because sometimes we don't have enough space here. I think we do. Okay, here we go. All right, so we now have uh, a 10% duty cycle, uh, which is over here, the duty cycle. A 10% duty cycle signal. Why is it 10%? The positive side is 10% over here, and the negative side is 90% over here. Okay, so let's raise it to 20%. See? Now the positive side, which is the one that, that counts, is 20%. Okay? So this fuel pump is now increasing in speed. Okay? Same frequency. Frequency hasn't changed, but it's now increasing in speed. Okay? Which is important. We're going to go... Let me see. There you go. All right. Now, now we're going to go and change the duty cycle to 30%. And as you can see, it increased a little bit here to 30%. Okay? So it's now the, the, the fuel pump is turning a little faster. And it's not only the fuel pump. Everything on the car in a car is duty cycle controlled. It's not 12 volts, you know, by itself. Uh, so this is a 30% duty cycle. This is 40% duty cycle. It increases the size. The now let's, let's do 90% duty cycle, okay? And so most, it's almost a, a, a straight through to the voltage side, okay? So half of, of the waveform, the, the, the positive side of the waveform, which is the one that counts, you know, in this particular case, it's 90%. Uh, and the negative side here is only 10%. Now, it's, it's important that if, to understand one thing, if this component was triggered by negative, by ground, then, it, then it's only a 10% duty cycle, because the other 90% is positive, okay? You know, so in this particular case, this if, if the component is, is triggered by ground, okay, you would have one side of the component is goes into 12 volt, and the other side, it goes into this signal here. And it, it's only working the duty cycle, okay? In percentage, it's only 10%, okay? Because it's a ground side. So it's 90% with reference to the positive side and 10% with reference to the negative side. But, but if the component is triggered by ground, this side here, then, okay, then it will be a 90%. Uh, with reference to that particular component. Okay? Now, a 50% duty cycle is this. And it's important for you to understand that because as soon as you go, this is 50%, it's half and half, the same. The same uh, uh, width, pulse width here on the positive side as in the negative side. Okay, so basically, uh, duty cycle is a measurement of w uh, the ability for that particular component to do work. Okay, so it is working with reference to ground or, or with reference to power. And you have to find those things, you know. Uh, is your component triggered by ground or triggered by power? Okay, if, if it's triggered by power, uh, then basically this here, okay, let me, let me do 90%, this is 90% duty cycle with reference to power, okay? Now, if it's re triggered by ground, then this, okay, this ground side is the actual uh, working side. Okay, it, because it's this is the ground side, so that particular this particular component is going to have one one leg uh, going to straight to a, like a like a relay uh, and a fuse, and the other side this will be the signal that actually triggers it by ground. So this is a ninety percent duty cycle with reference to ground. Okay, Imp it's important. Uh, this concept is a little hard to understand, but oftentimes you know you go uh, lots of te technicians. They're having a problem, okay? This vehicle, you know, for example, it, it stalls, you know, when you floor it, okay? And then, so you have to go into the into the uh, into the fuel pump. Uh, the first thing they do is replace the fuel pump. 
Then the second thing they do is replace the, uh, the fuel pump uh, speed control module. That's wrong. Because it could be that the, the, the ECM itself is not providing this particular signal. This is what, what the, the ECM provides the fuel pump control module. And then the fuel pump control module actually does the same thing but in, in, at, at higher power. Because the ECM doesn't have enough power to really trigger the, the uh, some do, but most don't, to really uh, actuate the, the fuel pump by itself, or any component, you know, pretty much. So it goes through another module. So you, ha you have the ECM, uh, you have uh, the specific module that controls, and, and so this is how it does it, you know, by varying uh, the duty cycle. Now, 50% duty cycle, it's like this, it's pretty much uh, half and half and half as we've said before so you know uh, this is uh, uh, a concept that we, we wanted to show you in one of our videos uh, the ability uh, to be able to measure duty cycles okay uh, anyhow we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel here in, at YouTube ADP training okay um, subscribe to our channel on our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com or Google the name Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing. We are constantly giving out uh, free stuff, you know, on our on our website. Okay. Also on our channel uh, on YouTube, you can also uh, subscribe to it and uh, help us out with a little bit of a. Uh, I think it's like 4.99 per month or something like that, and uh, which is only what 120 dollars uh, a year. That helps us out a lot because these videos uh, are free for everybody uh, and you can always uh, for example this particular oscilloscope uh, software that we show you here uh, you can get it for free if you email me uh, I'll send you a link so that you can download it okay uh, it, it, I don't charge anything for you know for this stuff so all these things you know matter uh, but it costs us money uh, to do all the you know so uh, I would appreciate it you know if you uh, uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube here and you donate whatever you think is it's good for you okay to donate okay so again we like to thank you for tuning in to our channel and thank you for watching this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians we present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques on hands video and how to tips and techniques we encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.